Hello everybody, we're here at Sakatsuki Brewing and we're here with Shoko Kanayama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, a little bit nervous here today. So, we're here in Kitasanju in northern Tokyo. Uh, just how many minutes? Three, three minutes? Three minutes? Uh, three minutes? Uh, three, yes, three minutes. Uh, one minute if you can run. And if you want good beers, you gotta run here anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's talk a little bit about your background. And mm -hmm. we heard that you originally worked at Asahi Brewery? Yes. 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 For how long? Uh, around nine years. Nine years. Yes. Mm, so you learned quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you studied in Tohoku University? Yes. And yes. you studied about agriculture? Agriculture, And yes. the little microorganisms yes. over. So about bacteria and mm -hmm. things like that. Yes, and so I don't know. <laughs> yes. And what did you do in Asahi? Uh, first, uh, I worked in a brewery, big brewery. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, uh, it's for four years. Mm. After that, I moved to laboratory. Oh for development mm -hmm. for new production of beer. Ah, it's sounds very cool. Five years. Five years. Yes. So you're making new beers? Or yeah, new beers mm -hmm. in five products. Yes. What made you want to start this brewery? Why did you start this Why? one? <laughs> um, Any reason? I want to be free. <laughs> Make everything you want. Yeah. Yes. So, I, we heard that uh, you went through crowdfunding yes. to be able to get this place open. Yes. Was that difficult? Uh, I, I feel so. Mm. I, I felt so. It's so. It was so tough. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can imagine. Crowdfunding is not very big in Japan yet, especially when you started. Yeah. Mm, yeah, by year uh, it will be a big, mm -hmm. but it's not major still. Yeah. I see. So you said you were you study microorganisms, and how has that helped you with? How's, how um, has it helped you with brewing? Or do you think it's very useful? Microorganisms. Yes. Ah, oh, uh, micro. Uh, yeah. Mm, it helps me to mm -hmm. brew beer, but you see, it's you to understand yes. things better, yes. so yes. you can be able to make better, mm -hmm. better things. Yes, I think so. Uh, especially in fermentation process, mm -hmm. uh, we have to know the microorganisms, especially in yeast. Mm -hmm. We work in this I see. world. Beer. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to make them happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. Yes, yes. So your studying helped you to make the yeast happy. Mm. Or you understand the situation better. Yes, yes, mm. yes. I see. Very fun. Mm. <laughs> because we have to make the yeast mm -hmm. will be happy and mm. uh, happy. Happy. Yes. And, uh, and excited. <laughs> so, yes, yes, able yes, to work yes, well. Yes, yes. Yes. Always, we have to check their condition mm. in fermentation and uh, lagering or mm. some maturation yes. process. How about wild yeast? Um, have you thought about um, yeah, using wild yeast yet? As I'm so interested in wild yeast. Mm. I want to make in the future mm. wild beer. Yes, hair yeast. <laughs> why, why, why do? Because um, okay. actually, it's a funny story. Oh. You know, in America, mm -hmm. in Portland, there mm -hmm. is Rogue Beers, mm -hmm. and they have one of the brewers took his beer. Ah, oh, yeah, I know, I know. I know. So, <laughs> it's, uh, not good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it? Uh, uh, do, did you try? It? Yes, I did. Oh, it's different. <laughs> how how was it different? It's. It's hard to say. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say. It's a <laughs> acquired taste. So there's going to be many people who don't like it, mm -hmm. but there will be many people who do like it. Mm -hmm. And it's quite a unique flavor mm -hmm. with, from the yeast. It's 
different from the wild yeast. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's very dangerous, I think, <laughs> because it can produce a very negative, bad flavor to it too. <laughs> but it's something to just play with, I think. <laughs> I feel uh, funny. It's uh, it's very funny. I feel, yes. but uh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> With Asaki, mm -hmm. and you said you were working at their lab to make new beers, mm -hmm. but then you came here to have more mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. Do you think in Asaki you had more of enough freedom to make new um, things, or do you think, for example? Of course, a place like here, mm -hmm. craft beer, you can make anything you want, mm, you can try yeah, new yeah, things, yeah. but in a big company, it's of mm. course a little different. In a big company, mm -hmm. Asahi is very big in yes. a big company in Japan, and um, in a big company, has some mm, trouble, yeah, social. rules, yes, yes, social, tro uh, social rules. Mm -hmm. I had some stories I see. in the uh, as a businessman, okay. with a person. So like a Japanese company, yeah. you have to yeah. do this, you have to do that, like a drinking party mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Asahi is a so traditional Japanese, all, all mm -hmm. company, yeah. um, Nagai yes. Ah, like a so, top-down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it, it was free. Uh. And, uh, Discussing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's hard to explain even in mm -hmm. Japanese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of free, but at the same time, there's certain like a social norm mm -hmm. that you have to follow in Japanese mm -hmm. custom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now it's free, completely free. <laughs> you can so, so. Relax and so, 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 so. do everything you want. Of course. Mm -hmm.